You know, it's interesting how the Beethoven, for example, the German composer Beethoven, um, when he writes the, the Coriolan Overture, it wasn't really just about death, although it was definitely a tragic story uh, for the hero Coriolan. And so it's, a, it's kind of a German way of portraying um, sad music, tragic music, versus the Russians almost put kind of a comical spin on it. I mean, yes, it's, it's about the devil, but it's not necessarily frightening. Um, it, it's almost comically uh, using the orchestra as a way to portray the different colors uh, um, of the devil at the different angles of death. Um, how do you paint dark spirits using the orchestra as forces. So the German composers definitely have a much more vivid images um, using the instruments than the German composers, such as in the case of Beethoven. However, we're also going to bring to our stage more contemporary voices, which could be even more interesting using the orchestra um, as a, a vehicle of portraying death further. So we have Osvaldo Golihoff's Last Round, um, which was written in the 90s, um, with a very interesting tribute in 1992. This was a year that um, Golihoff witnessed one of his great admirers of Argentinian tango masters, uh, Piazzolla, who was at the height of his creative power and had a stroke that killed him um, the year after, which was in 1992. And so Golihop decided to write a piece paying tribute to the tango master with an interesting piece that has two parts. The first part is literally focusing on tango um, with all the strings uh, best standing up playing. So you can almost imagine the bows of the strings like the torsos in tango literally dancing up and down on stage with very visual effect and incredible color of trying to imitate the sound of a bandoneon. Um, the second movement is a very angelic. It's almost coming to terms um, with the death, the sudden death um, that Piazzolla um, had in 1992. Last round is also kind of a boxing turn, um, referring to Osvaldo Juan and Piazzolla to fight one more time in life. And so it's, it's an interesting um, modern take that we have. We have the Goliath and the Beethoven right, right next to each other of creating a huge contrast of the modern look and the, the museum look on uh, tragic, tragic events.